if you are planning to go to Dubai for greener pasture, please rethink that decision all over again. Let me say it again. If you are planning to go to Dubai for greener pasture, watch this video. Because I think after watching this video, you will have a whole new thought about Dubai. So, watch. Before now, Nigerians have this opportunity here. If you have given us the opportunity before, it's not a right, it's a privilege. We appreciate them for that. We commend them for that. In fact, kudos to them. If there is anything that I want to make them to change it, we want to plead with them in a short form that they should reconsider our people. It's now seven months since hundreds of Nigerians have been jobless and in some cases homeless. Work permits granted by the Labour Ministry have been denied applicants new to the system as well as others who have been working in the country but cancelled their contracts to join new companies. I tried and keep trying. And the company told me they've, uh, they need to start the project. So since they're not able to get the approval of the work permit from the um, authorities, they would have to defer my uh, appointment. So that's how I got affected. A work visa is the most common route to get in residency in the Middle Eastern country. This means all those who lost their jobs have also lost their residency status. If you are working as a customer service and your profile is taking, um, is having a waiter profile, then automatically there's going to be a problem when you want to renew your document because um, they, it falls under skill level three. So it, it is not going to be something that will be achievable as, as it is since there's a problem at hand. Even less than a week ago, there was a communication between myself, the leadership of pro Nigerians in UAE, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and it gave another word assurance that it's in contact and is working on this issue with UAE government. That is all we can say. What exactly they are doing, we may not be able to say. I told you in my last video how Dubai has banned 20 African countries from the 30 days visa application and they did not give any reason whatsoever for the ban they just wake up one morning and decided that they will ban 20 african countries from entering dubai through the 30 days visa this is really really not a friendly move this is really, really bad. You know, for some months now, or maybe up to a year, the UAE has been putting in place some of the most unfriendly policies towards African countries. It has been ongoing for a while now, and they have kept on putting more and more unfriendly policies in place. Months ago, it was really, really difficult for most African countries, especially people from Nigeria, to extend their work permit. As a matter of fact, they decided to put in place a policy that made it so difficult and almost impossible for Africans, i.e., Nigerians to extend their work permit. And if you couldn't extend your work permit, that means you are out of a job. That also means you cannot extend your visa, which automatically means you are forced to move out because you might not have enough money to care for yourself, to pay your rents. You will be homeless. You cannot feed yourself and your visa will definitely expire. And I do believe they knew about all this before they put this policy in place. They must have thought to themselves that let's look for a way to push out all Africans without making it clear. 
let's put one outrageous policy in place that it will be so difficult for them to go through it and by so doing, they will be unable to extend their work permits and so cannot extend their visas and therefore will be forced to move out of Dubai. That must have been their plan from the very beginning when they put this policy in place. I tell people Dubai has been very, very hostile towards Africans. Now, most people will just say, no, don't say that you are being biased or you are being unfair or you are playing the victim cards. But I think it's not because if you talk to two or three people who are in Dubai or who are out of Dubai, they will tell you the same story. Africans have been selectively targeted. They want them out by any means necessary. This is not fair. I also made it clear that I do understand that Africans commit crimes in Dubai. And by the way, crime is a general thing. It's not subjective only to Africans. Crimes are being committed all over the world. It's not a good thing, but that's the job of the police. That is why the police are there, to make sure that they stop people from committing crimes. If anyone commits a crime, be it a national or a foreigner, they should be apprehended and by so doing sent to jail. They should face the law. But for you to group everyone and target them with your unfriendly policy because a few of them committed a crime is wrong. You cannot punish the all for the crimes of the few. The whole group cannot, will not, should never be responsible for the crimes of the few. The few should be separated from the whole. Dubai authorities should understand that this is a very, very unfriendly thing and this path will lead them nowhere. And I understand many of you might say, what is the use of having them? Like what are Africans actually contributing in Dubai? Which I dare to say that a lot, a lot. Africans living there contribute to the economic of Dubai. No matter how small you might think it is, at the end of the day, they contribute to the economy of Dubai. They stay there, they pay indirect taxes or direct taxes, they consume. So they are part of the economic of Dubai. They help the economy grow in one way or the other. So they should be treated fairly. They should be treated fairly. No one should have to suffer for the crimes committed by people of his nationality or of her nationality. No one should have to suffer. No country should put people in a group and punish them for a crime committed by someone of their nationality or of their race. And I have said it before, and I will keep on saying that in Asia, this is a common thing. Ask anyone who has lived in Asia, and that person will tell you the same thing. Asians are fond of grouping everybody and punishing them. The Middle East is the worst. 
So my brothers and sisters, if you have plans of going to Dubai, please rethink that all over again. Okay? If your dream was to travel to Dubai, please be mindful. Dubai is becoming a hostile nation. Dubai is becoming too hostile to Africans. So, be very careful. And I know that there are some few Africans who are living fairly well, who hasn't encountered any problem. They are there living happily. I know that, but that might just be a few. Many, many, many Africans are facing it really, really hard in Dubai. So before you go to Dubai, make sure you understand how things are going on right now. And I would not encourage anyone to go to Dubai at this particular moment because things are really, really tough over there. But you guys out there, my fellow Pan-Africanists, what do you think about this move by Dubai to punish people for crimes they did not commit or for crimes committed by people in their group or of their origin? Let us know in the comment section below because like always, we like hearing your thoughts and opinions on the things that we cover on this show. Please, if you came across any story or any article or any video on any social media platform that you think is worth sharing with the rest of the world, please send it our way through any of our social media platforms. You can find them on this channel description section. You can also support the show with a dollar or more through the crowdfunding website, Patreon, or send directly to us through our personal PayPal account. We shall appreciate it so, so much. Like this video, share this video, follow our Facebook page, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel. These little deeds of goodwill helps the channel so, so much, and we shall forever be grateful. Thank you for watching, and until next time, goodbye. <laughs>